What is up everybody? Headphones Neil here with my first impressions look at Mario Kart Tour, which was just released for Android and iOS. So as an Android user, I will be reviewing the Android version. And overall, I will say that the game is comes in at about 75 to 80% as far as how good the game is. It has a good nostalgic feel to it as far as some of the levels once you get beyond the first couple of them. Um, Overall, the graphics are decent. They're along the lines of a Nintendo 64, maybe a Super Nintendo Plus. So the, or I want to say maybe the visuals are more like Nintendo 64, but the controls feel like uh, Super Nintendo. So that is why I give it that 75 to 80 percent. So I want to say that maybe it's one of those things that will be fixed with. Um, bug fixes and things like that over time so and things like um um connection issues are as well that um can cause a problem so it hasn't happened too much for me so that is kind of the weird thing here but once it loads um performance is pretty good um it has some nice animations and um transitions and things like that so um, it is worth playing as far as that goes, but um, much like um, other, like much like their other games, the initial uh, loading of the game does take some time. So with that, I'm just gonna wait and for it to load. But basically, once you get through their initial tutorial, the game does have um, or what they're offering as a new real world base levels every couple of weeks so as of this recording the, the main level is a new york uh level which is a new york minute and then from there we jump into um various um other levels that are known from the um mario world so basically the mario world but redone for the mobile platform um and as you log in you get various power-ups and features like rubies um so once you get those you can use them to um get upgrades and various other features for your um characters so as you can see that there's daily selects where you can purchase add-ons i don't have enough coins for them so i'll close that for now um, as you um, gain various um, different carts and gliders and add-ons and things like that, as you level up, or as you get, play the game and level up, you can gain additional points to level up those carts. So uh, right now I'm pretty much at level 1, but I have um, moved from the 50cc to a circuit to the 100cc. The main downside for me, which I haven't gotten to in the game yet, so I'm hit or miss, is the $4.99 a month subscription to play the fastest level, which I think is a 200cc circuit. Um, so that is, because of that part, I'm not going to really jump too far there, but I am going to jump into the next level of the game to show off some of the controls and features and things like that. So as I, you pass through the, in this case, um, it's kind of, this is a kind of, um, test your mic kind of feature. So as you, um, play as Donkey Kong, I, you do get more coins as you, um, go through the, um, rings. I have the driving style set to swipe to turn, so as I swipe from right to left, I get it turns uh, left. As I go from left to right, I turn right. Um, you can also enable a uh, drift mode, which allows you to drift around automatically rather than having to um, undo it manually every time. So um, I, I tried that way in the... Um, tutorial and it wasn't really for me so that's one of those things that depends on the driver uh in order for you to um try it out but if it's for you it is for you if it's not it is not um but as you play different levels and you earn stars then you can um get various like i showed you earlier you can get various upgrades and points and things like that the one thing that is kind of weird is that you do have to sign in with your Nintendo account in order to play the game, which I kind of don't like. So for me, that's not really something that um, is something that I would prefer. So I would rather have to not play with it or have that requirement. And I would also like to play without um, needing an internet connection, which is one of those things 
that is a rec- that still sucks as far as all Nintendo games on mobile. But as far as a um, regular level, right now I'm, my next level is in the Yoshi Cup with the Yoshi Circuit. I haven't unlocked him yet, so I'm going to, in this case, play with um, Toad because he's a little bit faster. Um, I'm going to play with the Toad car because of the power-up boost, and then I'm going to use the add-on glider add-on. So as you jump over ramps and you're gliding down, it will automatically um, show up. Um, so this is an animation for when you get into the game. You do see the l- overview of the level. Um, it's not as much, or it's a little bit more than what we saw before in prior, prior games. I haven't played some of the recent versions. So I don't know how the Nintendo Switch version looks, but the starting animation is um, much like you saw there. Uh, one of the nifty little tricks is that when the countdown timer gets to two and you hold down um, on your... Um, um, on the screen, you'll get a nifty little speed boost. So you can, if you're starting in the last position and you want to get a little bit of a speed boost, then that is something you'll get there. But it is, does require starting at when the countdown's at two. Otherwise, you're just going to spin out and not get any um, boost at all. And then you're going to end up um, behind. So um, one of the nifty little things, as you saw, is that as you um, get the power-ups, in some levels you get three, some you get one, but as you, as you're, um, if you are, if you do get a shell and you hit one of the other racers, then you get additional points for, um, hitting those characters, um, which I did find is pretty nifty, um, and as you saw there, I did get a green shell, but I was hit from behind, so it took them out, gave me a little bit of a bonus, um, so far, all of the levels require completing two circuits, so um, it does take some getting used to, to for, the, um, for the navigation, because for me, um, much like the, if you do start doing video searches online for it, you will see that people are, ha- are already making fun of it, and you can see that one of the other characters already hit me with one of their shells, so I went from first to third, but... I'm still going to, I'm still not too far behind, so I do have, still have a chance to get ahead, but it's going to require some skill and navigation on my part as far as get, staying ahead and getting ahead. I'm not going to get any speed boost, it looks like, um, so it's going to, it looks like I might only finish in uh, second place, but, or maybe first if I'm so lucky or do play properly and even if I get a pro- good power up here um, so there is that so overall it's a fun game uh, performance as I mentioned is pretty smooth um, I'm still getting used to the driving on driving the or navigation on my part but overall it's not too bad it could be better um, so the downsides of the game are really something that they have to work on for all Nintendo has to work on on all their games as far as working online so as you can see that I finished in first place I my player has leveled up so I do get uh, more and more points as I go I've unlock the 150 cc races so they will get faster so i do i can get more com- competitive races going on um so as you can see as i gain points i've uh, gain, gotten additional points on each of those characters um i've gotten additional points here so i get five stars for completing it in first place and to as you finish races and finish in high as high as high as position as you can you can continue on to more and more races so um, in this case now the next race has uh, been unlocked so I can go to the next one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and see if I can um, upgrade any of the um, any of the vehicles that I have I don't have or I don't have enough tickets it looks like to do a forced upgrade so I do have to wait for to earn more points uh, so I'll go and check out my glider, see if I can upgrade that. I still can't do that. Um, I only have two drivers so far. Um, it's still at level one, and I do need to unlock more points there. Um, same thing with Bowser. I can't upgrade him. Um, but this is... I've actually not seen that mushroom there, but... Um, there is... So overall, a decent game. I, as you can see, I haven't really gotten too much... 
as far as or gotten enough points to do various upgrades but the, if you like Mario Kart then it's a good start for the game um, we'll see how they um, upgrade the game and provide for various other fe or start including various other features and the beauty of the game here is that um, you can go back and play prior levels over and over again so if you find that you didn't do as well as you wanted or if you want to play at a new cc level like you saw right now then you can go back and play um prior levels so in this case i can play uh, new york minute again um starting in a better uh, pole position than i did initially i think i started the first time in last but now i can start um with in a first place and you'll see that this level has more jumps and takes place more in um downtown uh, new york and i think the first time i played this was with um the drift mode going on so the one thing to notice here is that we'll see if i do any better in um um playing with the controls that i like better um but that's really the bulk of the game so if you've played uh, Mario Kart before then um, it's going to be a very familiar game if you haven't then the tutorial will work nicely to help get you trained and caught up as far as uh, what you need to play and um, what you need to do to get going as quickly as possible so uh, and actually the one thing that I forgot to mention is that the game initially is free to play but from what it sounds like I'm not sure if at some point you will have to play or pay to play or if the $4.99 is once you want to if you want to play that um, 200cc or the 250cc level that you have to pay for it at that point but um, once I get to that point we'll see but so far you initially you can play to it sounds like you can uh, play for free and eventually pay for the $4.99 um, to get the higher speeds, but I'm not sure if... And then you can, of course, pay if you want to buy some, pay for some of the add-ons, but um, beyond that, I'm not sure if you'll have to eventually pay to keep playing the free version or if you that the pay-to-play is only for um, the higher CC levels and to get pay for some of those power-ups. So that's all there is for this particular review. So if you want to get in touch with me, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. You can find or support the show on Patreon at patreon.com slash PatelN01, where you can get this review and all reviews early and help support the show to um, get additional content and get some of the additional rewards for supporting the show. Um, but that is really all for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comment, and, or if you want to also get the uh, free version or help support the show that way and get all the extra links and all of that, then you can find it at patelin01.com. But that's all there is for this particular review. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.